Hello, everyone. Welcome to our talk. I'm Mang Mang Cai, PhD, JD, Attorney at Law at New Women Law Group. So the topic of this video is Green Card Interview Experience in November 2018. Well, in the past several months ago, uh, in the mid-2018, we recorded another video about my personal experience in accompanying a client to attend the green card interview. And actually that video became quite popular in our YouTube video channel. I guess part of the reason is these days I-485 interview is mandatory. Almost all applicants, if they live in the US before they receive their green card, will need to attend the interview in the USCIS office. So naturally, applicants will do have uh, concern about the interview, how to prepare, uh, what to anticipate. And also these days, sometimes there are longer processing time for I-485. Also there are longer waiting time, cut off dates, especially for our applicants from India and China. So from the time that you submit your I-140 petition or PERM petition, or maybe your I-485 petition, to the time you are asked to attend the interview, for I-485. Well, it may take several years. So from the time you submit your application to the time you attend the interview, well, things may change. You may already move to a new address. You may have a new job. You may have a new visa status and a new family situation now. So additional documents and information are always needed in order to provide updated all the information to the USCIS. So again, that's why the 485 interview is important and uh, you should pay enough attention to the interview. So about the procedure, well, uh, when you arrive at the local USCIS office, uh, you submit your interview notice and then you wait there. Later, the immigration officer will come out and uh, lead you to the small room uh, where you will first take your oath. And then you need to prove that it is indeed you, yourself, who come to attend the interview. So you need to submit your ID and also you will be photographed and you will also be fingerprinted to prove that it is indeed you. And uh, if you or your relative who also attended the interview does not speak very good English, uh, you may need an interpreter to help you to understand and answer the questions. And this interpreter cannot be your relative. Also, it cannot be the attorney who accompany you. It must be another person, a third party. Or it can be an employee of the law firm. And then, as you know, I-485 form these days is relatively long. It's 18 pages. And in one of the sections, the security section, there are 80 questions, okay, very detailed. We have separate videos addressing how to answer, how to prepare for those questions. Okay, you can check that out. The immigration officer has stressed that, well, these are serious questions, okay? Even though they may appear absurd, like, have you assisted in genocide? Do you plan to practice polygamy or prostitution? Well, you should not simply laugh at those questions. You should answer them seriously, okay? To save you time and to make the whole process smooth. And uh, what other questions are important for the interview? your own personal history in the past five years, where have you lived, where have you worked, what's your position, job title, and what's your visa status, when's the most recent time that you entered the U.S., and what's the visa status you used when you entered the U.S., were you inspected by an immigration officer, a border officer, when you entered. For employment-based immigration applicants, they need to verify well, are they currently working? What's their job title? And what's their job duty? For the derivative beneficiaries, like spouse and children, they need to verify the relationship. What's your husband, your wife's birth date, name, and maybe sometimes the proof of marriage. Also, you need to show, or maybe you will be asked, whether there's any history of violation of your visa status, violation of U.S. immigration law. Again, you can check our other videos for more details on those. We also have a separate video on what documents to bring for your I-485 interview. Check that out. For the important documents, you do need to bring the original copy 
for examination by the immigration officer. And uh, it will be better if you also carry a photocopy. So you can submit that to the immigration officer uh, who will put this in your archive. This again will save time. After the interview, usually the result will not be announced to you immediately on spot. There can be three outcomes. Uh, first, the preferred outcome will be your green card will be approved soon after, maybe a couple of days later or a couple of weeks later, and then your green card will be mailed to your address. Uh, another possible outcome is the USCIS will think they need additional information, so they will issue an RFE or even an OID, and you need to respond to that. Finally, occasionally, if the USCIS thinks they need more time and ask more questions, they may even schedule a new interview. As we can see, well, these days, I-485 interview is mandatory. It's part of the so-called extreme vetting, and it is a serious matter. It is important, so the applicant should take this issue seriously and prepare well. Again, this topic of our video is green card interview experience in November 2018. If you have additional questions, you can contact us. Thank you.